Megan and Michael, you fell in love by swiping right instead of left. <laughs> by chance, that is. But you're here today because you are making a choice. You both are choosing each other for a lifetime, again. In the words of Victorian author George Eliot, the greater thing is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined for life. It's to strengthen each other and to be at one with each other in silent, unspeakable memories. As Megan and Michael embrace one another in their love, so too do they embrace the families that have been brought together by this union. Megan, my love. The worst part about being engaged for so long is that it gave me extra time to think about how my ugly crying will be forever captured by cameras. Of course, these tears will be happy tears, but I can't wait for this part to be over so I can blow my nose and kiss you like I mean it. I love you. These past five years with you have been amazing. I feel lucky every day. I am so proud of who we are today. If we can grow this much in five years, I'm so excited to see what we can do in 50. Megan, you are everything to me, and I am grateful every day I wake up. I'm lucky every night I go to bed. I'm most fortunate that you're so patient, and let's talk about that for a second. Uh, we often joke that living with me is great practice for raising children. <laughs> and let's be honest, there's a lot of truth in that. As much of a pain in the butt I can be, you are always there. You're there with a kind, gentle patience, you're there with a bright, beautiful smile, and you're there laughing. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I also feel lucky because of the way we communicate. And this sounds boring, but it's actually the best thing ever. I love that we actively tell each other how we feel and what we're thinking. I love that you tell me that you love me every day and not just vocally. I love, I feel your love when you buy my favorite snacks and when you remind me to drink water. <laughs> and when you give me the best bear hug after a long day. I feel so, incredibly loved that sometimes it surprises me that such a deep emotion exists. I've spent my life making mistakes and I think half the people here can attest to that. Uh, I wouldn't change a single second of it. If I had to do it all over, I'd make sure nothing changed so I could move through again. And I vow to always, always be your best friend. I vow to communicate well with you and I vow to make you feel the depth and sincerity of my love for you every day. So, in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, Michael Garnier, I love you and I feel so lucky and proud to be yours. To one another, twice. <laughs> Therefore, by the power vested in us, I pronounce that you are now, and have been, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I was extremely lucky to be able to spend a lot of time with Megan growing up. Um, I'll never forget the little girl that used to walk behind me as I was, you know, plowing away out to the mailbox and she'd be following me out through the snow, sit in the, uh, in the house watching TV in the morning together and, and of course reading to her at night. You know, I'd sometimes want to make it quick, but Megan knew the words to every line of every book. If I tried to make it quick, and if I skipped a word, or God forbid, an entire paragraph, we were starting over. <laughs> Michael was not a swimmer. He was at the YMCA with me, being the parent that, that I was, just a great, great parent. I only lost him four or five times in his, in his youth. <laughs> well, walking across the, the deck of the pool with the Y, and Mark's going to swimming lessons. And um, suddenly, Michael has disappeared. Michael had jumped into the pool. And Michael does not float. He had sunk to the bottom of the pool. So I quickly looked at the lifeguard and I said, um, he can't swim, and she went down and retrieved him. <laughs> but that's the story of Michael's life. He's bold, he's, he's forward thinking, he's progressive, and he's chosen a girl that will do the same thing with him. We really appreciate that.
I think we should all raise our glasses to two of the greatest people that we know. And this is a great group that's going to support these guys through what we know can be a rocky journey at times. We know that marriage is tough and it takes a lot of work. And we're going to all be there to stand behind them. So to Michael and Megan, congratulations. Thank you very much.